Hey gamers, it's Smarties. Uh, this might be a little bit of an awkward video because I'm just gonna film it in one big lump and it's gonna be like mostly unscripted. But I thought I'd take you guys along with a really big Makari haul that I've done because typically I don't really do Makari hauls. I typically just get one or two items, but this time I saved up and just bought like a bunch of stuff all at once. And I thought it'd be fun to show you guys. Yeah, sorry if this video is a little cussed, but I hope you enjoy. So this is my big box. Um, I've like folded it so you can't see my dress, obviously, because I was like, mm, I don't know about that, but let's just get into it. If some of you don't know what Makari is, it's basically like the Japanese version of, I, I guess, like, um, trade me for New Zealand and Australia or what is it called eBay for like most of the world where you could buy stuff second hand except I use a proxy service called Bai that uh, buys things for me from Makari so that I can ship them to New Zealand where I am and that's literally where I buy most of my stuff I'm addicted to that website and normally I can't really afford to buy this much stuff at once but I get really lucky during the uni breaks, I can pick up like heaps of work and do like a big haul. So that's what we're going to be opening today. I'm always so scared of like ripping the items that are inside, but you know what? I've learned my lesson, so now I'm always like really careful. Alright, I'll go through each of the items when I pull them out. Seems to be a like a hook up, just like a bag that they found, but you know that's fine. I'll save this one for last because this was the most expensive, but this is an Alice in the Pirates dress. I probably won't have time today to cord it all, but maybe at the end of the video I'll like put in some clips of photos of how I like cord the items. Yeah, I mostly just rip stuff instead of cutting it because I'm kind of scared of like ruining this. Oh my gosh. Okay, the quality of this was way better than I'm expecting. I'll show you guys the photos of the listing, but the listing made this look like really stretchy, but like it's actually like a really nice material. Yeah, this is from a brand called uh, Drug Honey. Um, which I think is a fairly popular brand in Japan. So I'm honestly, I should have expected good quality from this, but I'm honestly really impressed. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna hold it like in front of my face, but it's more of like an A-line Lolita dress. These are the waist ties. It's got like a bit of like an empire waist. So cute. I think this one was like 90 New Zealand dollars and then shipping was like $30, but I'm glad I took this gamble because it is really cute. Okay, this, this is a bit silly. Bear with me, bear, bear with me. Just bear with me, so. I saw this listing, it was literally $8 for this old school child dress, okay? And I was like, I'm gonna take that and turn it into like an old school style mini skirt. Cause like, look at this. Isn't that just like the perfect size for like a mini skirt? Filming in like the weirdest place in my room but this is like the only place the lighting is kind of nice because my room is like really flat this way but yeah this is really small this is for like a 110 centimeter child but I'm like for eight dollars with like fifteen dollar shipping sure it's coming with me this is the first thing I bought it's from a brand called um, Black Face Now, and I've been scouring the internet for a shirt that looks like this, like a vampire cut shirt. And like, I couldn't even find any, like any anywhere. I, I have to model this all for you guys later, but this is stunning. It's got these like, 
lovely cross stitches down the back with um I don't know what you call the two little like tail coats at the end and there's also tail coats at the front not that you can see it very well I'm like I'm sorry I'm holding this up so badly anyway I love when shirts have like a cut like this to just add like more variety or like more interesting stuff going on on the sleeves and the sleeves have all the beautiful button details I like everything, but this is probably my favorite J fashion item that's not Lolita that I've bought so far because I haven't really bought much much else, even though I am really into like punk uh, styles. Alright, this is a gift, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. Because I bought it, so you know, and I might I might still quote it before giving it to them. This was a gift from my friend Ruby, but I'm evil, and we they they still have a shirt of mine, so this is fair, okay? I bought them a beautiful old school skirt, so that we can twin and have like old school quotes together, and it's this beautiful like velvety material. It was eighty dollars. It's like really hefty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But um, I think it's brandless, or it's a Taobao brand. Um, yeah, I think this is just brand- oh wait, no, there we go. What does this say? It says F, made in China. That is not helpful. Okay, maybe it's a Taobao brand. Uh, it's so stunning, I wish I knew the brand of this thing. It's got these like lovely old school like details down the front. And I think it's- it looks um, scalloped as well. She's so cute. Uh, the reason I don't really like this skirt is because <laughs> this big poofy like she, like puffy bit at the back. I really don't like those details, especially since it's on the back. And I know this is the back because it's kind of stretchy. Because um, like when I sit down, the white's gonna get like covered in stuff. So I don't know. I don't know why they designed it this way, but it is really pretty. If it was just like this part of the skirt. Then I would love it so much and I might take pictures of like just this part of the skirt but it's still really cute and I do like the built in puff. And now let me show you the reason I got this haul. This is the first JSK I'm buying this year and it's July so don't think I go around spending heaps of money, trust, this is all from like last year and the year before. Um, and I'm really happy with my collection. I want to collect like old school Lolita stuff. You know, this whole like haul has been pretty black and white just because that's what I'm really into at the moment. This dress is a H. Natal dress. I mean, it has slight old school elements to it, but it's not really old school at all, you know? I don't know if I'll filter this video or not, but this is cream or like ivory. <sighs> I'm so sad I'm gonna have to buy like an ivory blouse and ivory socks and an ivory set of shoes. Um, it's an Alice and the Pirate JSK. I think it's called Miranda. It's from like 2009 or 2015, I think. I'll, I'll like put some info here. It's got boning that runs down it, and it's got a low waistline, which I really like. That's like my favorite cut in Lolita. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, the quality of this is just so stunning. I wish it was like the shade, the, like the same shade as white as everything else I own. That pains me, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I have to try it on in a bad coordinate for you guys anyway, just so that you can see it, because it's so beautiful. So yeah, that was my entire Makari haul. I hope you guys liked unboxing it with me as much as I did. I've been waiting for this stuff for ages because you know how long it takes for stuff from Makari to arrive at the warehouse and then wait for everything to arrive and then ship it out. Luckily DHL was really fast and I got it all really, really speedy once it was sent out of Japan, but I've been waiting. Uh, I'll probably do more Lolita, like just chill Lolita content from now on. Uh, I do want to say I am a 
pretty beginner Lolita still. I've been a Lolita for like one and a half years now, I want to say. Um, so if you guys want any info on what it's like being a newer Lolita in like 2023, or you guys want to see my beginner wardrobe, or just any info on like how to get started, just let me know down in the comments because I would like love to make more videos like this if you guys like them. Yeah, and that's about it. Uh, let me just tell you quickly what I'm wearing today. This is a lovely Baby the Star Shine Bright, uh, what do you call it, cardigan I guess. I'm wearing a metamorphous black blouse underneath. Um, Chantal dress that I mentioned before, it's got a train and it's so beautiful. I think it's called um, Triple Ribbon JSK. Yeah, let me guys show you um, like a faraway shot. So this is the cord for today. I was using like really big blocks of white, so I think the balancing is nice. I was thinking of using a black headdress, but I kind of like this like kind of old school, not really old school one. Um, just for the vibes of today. I don't really know what style I'd call this. I'd call it old school inspired. It's got this beautiful train. Sorry for the awkward angle. This is like the only place in my room with good lighting as I said before. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'd love to show you more Lolita content in the future. Bye!